Grandmaster Sanal Vahab of Turkey scored a big win against Lake Wang Liam in round 6 of the Gibraltar Masters. He joins us in our studio. Vahab, a big win with the white pieces against Lake Wang Liam, but the position was quite imbalanced. Yeah, so he played this uh, rouser. I think it, I was watching your interview with him actually before the game that uh, you pushed him to play f uh, for win with black. <laughs> And he's basically a Sveshnikov player, but uh, today he went for Rouser, which actually was about to pay off. Uh, I couldn't, it's a dubious opening, definitely, but of course playable. And uh, I had some advantage in the opening and then we came to this position. You were blitzing out the moves quite fast, so you had prepared uh, up until which point? Not against him, but in okay. general to Rouser. Yeah. And, then, and then here he just complicated I think he played I mean I knew this setup that I put h4 rook h3 rook e3 uh, if knight a5 b3 I knew all this setup and I knew that white is better and then yeah in this position he played rook c3 right and uh, I had to take take and queen f3 idea with knight g2 and then you just target the c3 pawn yeah and uh, I thought that I shouldn't bring his pawn to c3 but after the game, he just told me that I can collect the pawn in the next move, which I missed during the game. Right. And after that, just I went a bit direct, which is good for him. So knight h5 was uh, inaccurate. Yeah, the thing is, I missed this f5, uh, queen f3. I was calculating rook g8, rook g8, rook g8, and rook g6 stuff, and. Yeah, I missed this very natural active move. And now queen d5 was a very strong move. During the game, uh, did you feel you were in trouble at this point? Or was it... Uh, we can ask you to come a little forward. Uh, during the game, did you feel you were in trouble? Or were you... Uh, how did you evaluate your position? Yeah, I was just uh, upset about uh, how I ruined all this advantage. And then right. suddenly just wandered the queen. Yeah, and that happened very soon. So you played queen f2 here, and this was the moment where uh, he just blundered after thinking for about six minutes. Yeah, he told me that uh, he was checking all the time rook g8, rook g8, which is probably just much better for black. So rook and g8 black keeps his advantage. Yeah. Actually, this was my trap from long ago. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a trap, kind of. I wanted to refute rook h1 lines, you know, not a trap, but... and. Uh, so you had this yeah. idea that if rook h1, you will have these yeah, tricks on the thing. board. So were you... Uh, did you... You played knight g7 almost instantly here. Yeah. Well, it, and it just collapses for black. Yeah, it's just uh, sad for him now. He just tried to complicate the game and probably his tournament is ruined. Yeah, it's... Basically, one move can ruin your tournament. Yes, but this is the thing about open events as well, yeah. that white or black, you have to take your chances. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and this is your first time here. Uh, you drew with Maxime yesterday. You won against uh, Liam today. I'm sure you're feeling good about the way you're playing. Yeah, actually, we're staying in Spain. And uh, in the first rounds, I couldn't like get in mood. I, I mean, we were spending a lot of time on the border and stuff. and. Now we got used to it, everything is much more smooth yeah, and yeah. Yeah, now I'm, I feel much better. Well, that's good to hear and we wish you all the best for Thanks. the remaining uh, games, Sanan. Thank you for your time.